A charging iPhone 4 exploded and caught fire in an Ohio house while a couple and their five kids slept. A charging iPhone uh, 4? Whoa. Mm. The fact that they're even using an iPhone 4 in uh, 2023 is pretty impressive. When, what year did the iPhone 4 come out? Um, Want to take a guess? I would say 2010. 9. 11? 10. Uh, when? Oh, it was at the very top. Uh, 2010. Oh, okay. June 29th. I know that. Ooh. Been in this game, Will. All right. Sometimes you underestimate me, Will. You know, and uh, apparently you shouldn't. I doubt you all the time. <laughs> and uh, 90% I'm right. <laughs> hey. No, I'm kidding. I'm hey, kidding. listen. Uh, as long as I get this one example, that one guy. Yeah, that's all. The that only matters. reason, you want to know you want to know what? The only reason I knew 2010 is because when my channel started on YouTube. Oh, okay. It was yeah. right around so the same time. And, and the channel started actually 2011? At very end of 2011 or beginning of 2012, I think. Mm. If I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it was the beginning of 2011. But anyway, it was, there was so much iPhone 4 activity and case videos and things going out. Obviously, yeah. it's a much smaller audience. Supply and demand was very different at the it time. It was a very radical design, too. Yeah, it was. The 3S. Oh, my goodness. For smartphones back then? It was a retina display. It was fantastic. Industrial design. Dude, it was so good. But, yeah, uh, yeah you, you know what's interesting also about it is they kind of went back to it in a way with the flat edges and stuff that they have right now. Oh, yeah. It's kind of reminiscent of what the 4 was doing. But anyway, in this case, this is not good. But I presume you've got these aging, this aging battery. You've got heat going on. And you're charging the kitchen. And booyah, you have explosion. iPhone 4 exploded and caught on fire in Ohio house while charging the middle of the night. Resident Brian Le Lease Gang and his wife passed down their old iPhones to their children to use. Mm. It's rare for old iPhones to catch on fire, though. Natural wear and faulty cables make it possible. It's always possible, I guess, with any electrical device that it can catch fire. It doesn't happen really all that frequently when you think about it. But it, I had the one time that that GAN charger exploded on me, and like it could have so easily happened and me not noticed. Yeah, like it just so happened that I was sitting beside it at the time, but it was it had been plugged in for a while, and it could have been plugged in. I, I could have left. And so what happened again? It started sparking. Oh no, or no, it it's smoking? straight up flames, straight up ball of flames. Oh wow! At home? No, at the old studio. Oh, okay. And the thing was, it was close at the time to an audio rack of equipment. Oh wow! And like a rug, and I was just like, man, I could just picture the whole rat's nest going up melting so what did you do you start stepping on it or no extinguisher or what no so i uh i uh i cut the power to, i pulled the cord going to it okay from yeah. the wall and then uh and then i sort of stomped on it which probably not supposed to do but it as soon as the power was cut from it it basically stopped flaming and like the heat was right. pulled from it so it went i didn't really need to dude this yet. is uh scary not not for iPhones. I may have kicked just... it as opposed to stomp on it. I think I may have just like, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I may have kicked. Anyway, go ahead. Herb stomp it. Go ahead. It's not just iPhones. It's just phones, batteries. Yeah, but some more electrical. than others, right? With the swelling batteries, it seems to and be And we've had swelling batteries in other well, you, phones, Don't too. you remember the big one was the Note series? I don't remember the version. Note 7. But you couldn't even take it on a plane. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just thinking like we have phones there. You know, we might yeah, but they don't hang around as long as they, they don't hang around as long as they used to. Though, I'm not as concerned. Okay. We don't tend to keep as much stuff as we used to. Yeah. So, but okay. anyway, yeah, this is scary, no doubt. Right, you got the uh, fire alarm going off. You're like, what happened? It's especially dangerous if the person is nearby. Right, imagine you're charging and using it, and it happens in your hands. Oh, you're gonna God. get some damage. So it's actually, in a way, kind of better that it happened in this. But everyone's all right. Thank goodness. Yeah.